So now come back to, let's say, mid-esophageal position or maybe upper esophageal. Yeah, slightly higher, a bit higher. 20 okay. centimeters, yes? Yes. So here you see the uh, indicators showing you uh, where is currently the probe and what is uh, rotation, what is the bend uh, of, the, of the tip of the, of the probe. So let's just um, see how it affects the uh, position of the plane. And now we have a zero degree view, so it means that it's more or less horizontal in the body. So this is zero degree and here you see the indicator as well. So you can start uh, rotating it uh, from zero to let's say 180 slowly. You can use those buttons as yes, very good, but you can also use uh, a knob. Yeah, you go 180 and backwards. Right. So this is manipulation number one. You can either use those buttons or you can use this um, keyboard that resembles the main functions of the real echo exam, uh, real echo machine uh, knobs and buttons. And here is the knob that is uh, responsible for plane for rotation. the plane rotation or seek angle, depending on the manufacturer. You will have different name. The second uh, manipulation is the rotation of the probe in the esophagus. So we'll observe it from the perspective of patient's head here. Okay, and now you can see that you can rotate right or left. So looking from the side of the cable that is coming out of the probe, clockwise means this, counterclockwise means that. Yes, so clockwise and means right, counterclockwise means left. Yes. And at the same time, look what happens. If you rotate uh, clockwise, your plane is going to the uh, right ventricle. If you rotate counterclockwise, it will go to the left ventricle. So it means left, right corresponds to the left and right uh, side of the heart. Uh, look what happens if you have 90 degrees view. So change to 90 now. Right. So you have now longitudinal view somehow. And then rotate once again, you see left heart, right heart. <laughs>